Hello, and welcome back, not welcome back, but welcome to my new Let's Play of Phantasm. This is a game by, surprisingly, Roberto Williams, who uh, did uh, the King's Quest series, if not all of them, I believe. And, uh, well, this one's a bit different, I'll uh, tell you that much. Uh, it's a game that actually has live actors in it, and if you can tell by the intro and by the fact that it's Halloween month, this is a horror game. And I, I, I did my own playthrough of it, so this won't be blind, and uh, it's interesting, to say the least. Uh, I'll give my full... I'll give my full thoughts on this, you know, as we play and at the end during the credits. But uh, just keep an open mind about this game. Anyway, let's watch the intro. So, uh, there's the intro. Yeah, there's a little bit of side boob there. Sorry for that. Um, uh, that's, there is gonna be one other part that's kind of like that, and it's actually a bit more in ways. There's no nudity, but, uh, let's just say I'll have to leave a warning, uh, in the video before that particular scene. Uh, and there are some gory bits in this, uh, in this game. So, uh, beware of that. If you're not a fan of gore, then, uh, Albeit, this is very fake looking gore, so even if you're not a fan of it, you might still laugh at some of this, but some of it can still be, if you use your imagination, can be a bit, uh... I don't know, it... So there, there, was, there was a part or two that even kind of made uh, me go, eh. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. So uh, let us start a new game. Now, what I don't like about this game, sure stop, is that there's only one save spot. If uh, you want to save, then that's kind of where you're stuck. And if you want to go back to an earlier thing, you can't. However, it is split into seven different days, and you can actually pick which day you want. That being said, however, whatever kind of like progress you make in one day, like you know, picking up certain items or things like that, if you decide to start on another day without restoring your save, then you won't have those items anymore. And this will actually introduce an interesting mechanic for the very last chapter, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. 
We start a new run, so I will be Game Smith. Again with the Game Smith, just like in uh, Psychonauts. Done. So you can start at whichever chapter, but of course we want to start at the beginning. Usually the best place to start. Yeah, it is interesting if you go straight to chapter 7 without having uh, gotten, you know, items that you can get in 1 through 6. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. How about some coffee? Yeah, big one. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, I'm sorry, I had a nightmare. You didn't seem to mind so much last night. Oh, no. <laughs> it was probably just spending the night in a new house is all. Yeah, I know. I have to admit, this place is kind of strange. Yeah, it's different. You know, I bet the guy that built this place must have been really bizarre. Well, hi, Spaz. How you doing, huh? Hey. What are you going to do today, sweetheart? Well, I don't know. I'm almost finished unpacking. Thought maybe I'd do a little exploring. Yeah. How about you? Do you see that bathroom yet on the second floor? Yeah. I like that. I think I'm going to turn it into a photo lab for myself. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. What's in that box? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone through it yet. Let's see. Oh, it's Christmas ornament. Oh, look at this. Why? Just a sec. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. You rat? <laughs> you know it was Christmas Eve. It was the night you proposed to me. Are you sure I proposed to you? Yes. Of course I remember. Of course I do. You're forgiven. I better get to work. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna keep this little fella with me, though. So I'll always remember that fateful night. <laughs> Well, don't wait too hard. See you later. And so we begin the game. So we have our protagonists. Well, we're only going to be playing as her, and I already. This is uh, Adrian, that's her name, with her husband, Don. They bought this new house. And uh, it's weird because they bought the house with everything in it. So this house has some interesting stuff everywhere, and it is huge. And uh, she hasn't even fully explored it yet. She has kind of let him buy it, or she bought it anyway. I'm not sure if this is uh, directly stated right now, but she is actually an author. She's uh, wrote a couple books, so that's probably why she's rich. Rich enough to afford a house like this. But uh, how this game works, uh, it's a point and click game, but there's no uh, walk icon, there's no talk icon, no look icon, there's only this. Notice how it's that gold color. If it turns red like that, that means you can interact. Right now it turn res up, turns red on the floor because we can get up and start our adventure. So yeah, whatever it turns around, you can interact, but uh, it'll just be sort of a whatever the uh, context implies. So yeah. So let's uh, check this out. The first thing we can really click on. You notice that pretty much everything in the game is sort of like computer 3D animated, like very old school type. And uh, there's some stuff in here. Only one thing turns red. That's a book of matches. And we have our inventory down here. And I don't think we will ever get more than eight items. I don't think we can get more than eight items. So uh, that'll bring you uh, down to uh, this now. So we have it, this guy right here. What does he have to say? 
I am the official hint keeper. I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. All right, so there's no real downfall to using the sky if you want to do this blind, but uh, I'd prefer not to. What is this? That is the main menu. And what's weird is that right now it's on the uncensored mode, meaning it has all the gore and stuff. I think outside the United States it was actually censored. But here, what happens if I try to change it? A bit squeamish, are you? In order to enjoy this game without all of the... <laughs> ...gory details, please enter a secret password. That is weird that they make you have a, a secret password to uh, disable all the gore and adult stuff. You would think it would be the other way around. Anyway, when you have uh, something talking like that, for you have a cutscene or dialogue, uh, this thing will turn red, meaning you can click it and skip it. However, there are certain scenes you cannot skip, which is why it's a good reason to save, because I accidentally had a bug come up where I had to go back to a way previous save and had to go through like five or six cutscenes that I couldn't skip all over again. Because this game has one really stupid bug that I hate, hate, hate. That is, sometimes when you transition to a different scene or something, and anyway, let's get out of here, the cursor will get stuck. It will only move side to side, not up or down or anything, and there's nothing you can do to fix it except for restarting the game. Yeah, it sucks. Right, we have items here. In order to look at them, you drag them over to this eyeball. And uh, spin it. you click it and it spins around. There's only a one time where this is actually useful. Otherwise, don't really bother with doing this. Okay, and we get up from here. So, uh, that's pretty much all the mechanics of the game. That's all you need to know to play. Uh, besides the fact that, you know, you click an eye object on an eye on a an item on something else and you might be able to use it there all right so let's uh see what's up in here can't really see anything in turn that you turn this on we get uh, different camera angles what's this down here So we can't open that. I mean, oh, one thing I was uh, meaning to say is that uh, one problem I do have this game is the fact that everything's sort of 3D animated like this. Uh, if you remember my playthrough of Gabriel Knight, there were a lot of scenes that were, you know, um, actual places. Like, you know, they were in actual uh, environments instead of uh, just uh, 3D rendered ones. So, uh, yeah, th these two games were made in the same year, so I don't know why this game didn't do that, and I think that would have been better, but, oh well, it probably would have been hard to find a whole set for each of these things, so I can't really judge too much. Hmm. So, well, let's do some exploring, so when you see an arrow, of course, you can, uh, travel around. the uh, dining room. She got the fire. Right here. We got ourselves a kit uh, fireplace poker, which we might be able to we might be able to use to pry open that thing. And what's that further down? Not much, just a mirror. Now pay close attention to what happens. I'm not going to uh, directly point it out, but I want you to notice something. It's not too important, it's just interesting. And if you don't notice it right away, keep looking. That's the good thing about videos, you can rewind.
Something very interesting happens there. Wonder what that's about. Back into the pantry and see if we can't get that trap door open. Click you on. Yeah, if the item glows red on an object, then you can use it there, most likely. I'm sure that's the best thing to do, like prying that open. I mean, there has to be some sort of key or something. But oh well. We own the house, we can do whatever the heck we want with it. But you can see kind of why I don't like the 3D graphics, because it's like the character, the uh, actors ha have to like inter- I don't know how they do it, but the actors have to interact with something that isn't there. And it ends up kind of looking awkward sometimes. I can't see a thing down there. Shoot. I want to see me start. She has to get back in the same exact position. Wait, anyway, what if we use matches? There we go. So a lot of what I'll be doing on day one is stuff that can be done on either day, but or any day, mostly. But I'm going to be doing it all here. So that will make day one the longest day. And for the most part, I can probably put... Oh. Creepy. And for the most part, I can probably make each day one video, but uh, this one will probably need two. cellar that's interesting and look on the floor over here it's a hammer so yeah we lost the matches because we used them so no biggie that means just means we don't need them anymore <coughs> oh it's dusty empty. Hmm. What about over here? Wow, really? Hmm. It's good. <laughs> Just had to go tasting wine who's been down here for who knows how long and what knows what kind of who knows what kind of conditions I mean look at this do you just buy a wine cooler at the grocery store or something go back here now why or why would there be chains back here who the heck is doing shackling Yeah, that would creep me out too. And uh, it looks like there's more to this room, but no, that's that's about it. Hmm. All right. Well, nothing else we can do here. We got the hammer. I guess that's all we needed. But yeah, you'll see me uh, skipping these like short little cutscenes a lot because it just shows her going from room to room. If you exit here you'll see her. Close that.
Let's do some more exploring of the house. We've already gotten somewhere creepy, but hopefully that won't be the case here. And uh, it's hard to see, but there's uh, an entry right here and one right here. This one leads outside, we won't be going there quite yet. We have this humongous room. And there are a few things to do in here. So, uh, what the heck is this? Hmm. Okay, some guy. I guess he lived here before. I yeah, see the creepy picture in the background, too. And, uh, something to pick up here. So yeah, that is a newspaper, but we can't actually read it. It uh, doesn't do us any good as reading material. So what we're going to use it for, well, you'll see at a later time. And there's Spaz here. Yeah, they have a cat named Spaz. Isn't that, isn't that adorable? Hey, Spaz. How you doing, kitty? You getting used to the new place yet, huh? And this video will probably be longer than other videos uh, in this series, but there's a lot of exploring to do, so I'll do a little bit more before we end things off. Let's see what's back here. Yeah, all this exploring I'm going to do and clicking on things, that will actually be uh, uh, important for something later. Just knowing that something exists will uh, help facilitate other things further down the line. You'll see. I'll uh, explain when we get there. And we have a, have a piano here. So yeah, everything has just kind of been here for years and years and years. So all this antique stuff. Which makes me wonder how they can afford the house that has all this stuff that's probably worth... You know, tens of thousands, like, by itself, each object, like, I wonder how much this is worth as an antique. Alright, and that's plain. Now, if we check the bar here, now there's certain things you can do uh, each and every day, and they will actually change each different day you check. So, here's some bottles down here, but if you click on this one... Wow, I don't, I don't even think that stuff is legal to have in the United States. That stuff messes you up from what I've heard. I don't even... I don't touch an alcohol myself, so I don't know exactly, but, uh... Yeah, the alcohol content in that, I think, is higher than the legal limit of a, any drink you can have. Another locked door. Too bad, because it looks like there's something interesting Damn on the it, other side. It's locked. Let's do uh, one more thing, because uh, you might have spotted that in the cutscene earlier, that there's this thing right here. This is also something you want to check every day. It's not that big a deal. There's the hell was that? nothing super important. Evil will walk once more? That's kind of a foreboding thing to get from a little toy fortune teller thing. Hmm. Why don't you just throw it away so yeah, you don't keep it? But I don't think you should be throwing those away. I mean, if this is an antique, then most likely the little uh, 
fortunes inside are, you know, specially made for it, so they'd be antiques too. You'd want to keep that. Oh well. So, uh, what else lies within this house? And anyway, what is this thing talking about? Evil? Uh, probably nothing. Well, I guess uh, we'll find out more about that next time on Let's Play Phantasmagoria. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.